You know, fall is really when my crafting kicks into high gear. Um, I love the colors, I love the whimsy, I love the temperatures and everything. Today, I'm gonna show you how to take a craft pumpkin, a few craft pumpkins, and turn them into these really cute and fabulous pumpkin topiaries. It's really easy as long as you have everything that you need together at one time. So we're gonna get going on that. Before we do, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Okay, so let's get into what we have here. So these are all craft pumpkins. So these are the ones that are not real because um, I'm putting these outside. I need them to last, so I'm not doing real. And I also wanna use them year over year. <laughs> so these are the carvable pumpkins. You can get these at any craft store. I got these from Target. Just check the ads because a lot of people have them on sale during the fall. You just got to get them before all the schools get them for their crafts and stuff they do during the fall season. But I got three different sizes. You can do whatever sizes you want. So I got a nice fat round one here. I have sort of an oblong one here and a smaller one. My plan is to stack them like here with this one on the bottom. Okay. Then you can think, you can do whatever design you want. I've seen some really, really pretty ones with the argyle design. I know my limitations. We're doing a combination of stripes and dots. So I have some paints here, just a white and a black and a gold. I picked some of these up from the Dollar Tree, others from Michaels, um, a bunch of different paint brushes. I don't know if I'm gonna need them all, but I wanted to be sure I had everything I did need. And then because they're going outside, I'm gonna seal them so that the paint doesn't start to chip away, so that the rain, all of that, the humidity doesn't get to it because we're in Georgia. So I just got some sealant here. I picked that up from Target too. So this one I know I'm going to leave orange and I'm gonna do a design on here. This one I'm gonna leave white. This one I'm going to paint the base of it black and then I'm gonna do a design around that. And the way I'm gonna stack these is I'm gonna leave the stem in the bottom one and then cut a hole on the bottom here of this one and stack that on top, just so it has a little weight and then do the same thing with this one. And then this stem is gonna stay on top and it's gonna be a different color. So what we'll do to get started is we will go ahead and paint our top tier black so that can start to dry. All right, let's go. What I didn't mention that you're gonna need is you're gonna need something to secure the pumpkins together. I'm gonna use my hot glue gun. Some people use a caulk gun, whatever you have. This is just some um, paper here, parchment paper um, that I'm gonna stick the pumpkin on so it does not, um, so it has somewhere to dry, okay? So I have these uh, little paint palettes from my daughter used to paint all the time, she's a bit of an artist. Um, and so when she and her friends used to come over and have little craft play dates, I would always give them these little easels because they just made life easy. And they come in handy <laughs> for her mom who always has some kind of project going on. All right, we're popping the tag out. All right, so let's do we're just going to do a foam brush. And again, this is just to get the base black so that we can do a design on top. So that's what we're going to do here. So again, you're just painting. We're not, we're not doing anything exceptional. We're just painting. Um, I love these topiaries and I've seen them for a while, but I just cannot bring myself to pay what people want for them. Oh my gosh, like I saw one and it was like 250. No, I mean, I have other stuff to spend my money on. You know, I'll spend it, but I don't spend it on a toy Harry. <laughs> um, I went to Costco the other day and Costco is like, they have a identity crisis going on right now. So like half of the stuff is Christmas, Half of it is fall, half of it is Halloween. Um, so depending on what you, what mood you're in, you can really get everything you want for all seasons right now. It's really pretty interesting. And then, so you know, you go in there, I went in there looking for mums the other day, and I was like, I mean, do I need 
a Christmas tree? I don't know. Um, the answer was no, but man, they make it so tempting because everything looks so good. And right now, you know it's like, this is the time where if you don't get it early, you're gonna miss out, right? So you gotta make a choice about what level of crazy you wanna be, right? Do you wanna be crazy during the holidays and go scoping around for stuff you need? That's me. Or do you wanna get in early? I cannot bring myself to buy a ton of Christmas stuff in September. Although, I did just buy um, something really cute from the dollar section of Target. But it was a dollar. Well, it was $3. But, you know, that's different than spending a boatload of money right now. So, go ahead and get this on there. It's going to take a, I mean, it's not a terrible amount of time, but just a little time. And then you're going to probably do at least two coats because you can see where it's a little streaky, uh, where the orange is. Um, you know, I really wanted a black pumpkin and I just waited too late. I'm telling you, people are on it um, because when I went to get one, they were gone. Um, I would have had to go to like three stores to pick up pumpkins. I wasn't doing that. So we're just going to apply this little old paint here and keep it moving. You could also do um, spray paint if that is what your mood is like. So we're gonna get that painted and then um, let it dry and then we'll start on our decorations. But in the meantime, we can start, once we get a good coat of paint on here, we can start with our other pumpkins too. So that can be done and be drying as well. Okay, so I have decided to do dots on this, but I am gonna use a sponge I'm gonna cut a circle out in the sponge um, to see if I can get the holes to be all the same size. Let's see if this works. case cutter and it is it has many more safety hazards on it than my last one did and so I feel like now I'm like wow was I in danger before and just didn't know okay so that's my circle okay. you know it's interesting that I decided to wear a light color today considering how much black paint I am handling it's fascinating <laughs> <laughs> Who did that? Who decided that? Okay. So let me just show you, give you an idea of what I'm thinking. So dab, dab, dab. All right, so we got the circle. And then, can you see that? And so I'm gonna make a bunch of those in black and then some gold. Um, and I think they'll be really cute. That is the plan, that is the plan. Um, and I could technically cut out a different size. I think that's cute. All right, let's make a bunch of those. All right, so this is the white one with the dots. I think it turned out pretty cute. And we have one more to do like that because we have two pumpkins. And then we're gonna work on the bottom one while the top one dries. We're gonna do the base now. So I'm gonna do big stripes. So it's already kind of naturally indented and I'm going to, and I'm gonna do something in the middle. So let's start here. So this is the first one that we did. And remember, I was having a difficult time painting it, so we went outside and spray painted it. So now we're gonna do stripes for every two. There we 
remember this is going to be the top, the top one. So, <laughs> okay, so we are finished painting all the pumpkins. So now it's time to assemble them. So I'm going to start with the middle first. So the orange one is going to be the base, at least in my head right now. This is something to change. These are going to be the middle and these are going to be the top. So I want to leave the stem on the bottom. So we're going to cut a little hole in each of the bottom ones. So here is the first one. I had started cutting it with this razor thing and almost lost the whole thumb. <laughs> but these have always worked well for me. These are the pumpkin carvers that you can get like from um, any hobby store. But they cut really easily. So we're going to try. Oh, and then I say that and it comes out. <laughs> ah, okay, let's see. Let's reconfigure. Hold on one sec. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I ended up having to use a steak knife. It was not pretty, but I just want to warn you. So I feel like the higher quality your pumpkin is, the more challenging it is to cut through. That's neither here nor there. There's a freaking hole in here. Do you see that? And so what we're going to do, I'm just going to give you like a preview, is we're going to take this stem and we're going to stick it inside. Let's see. I might just configure this a little bit. Inside this hole. And so that's the base. And so we'll play with this a little bit to make sure it's lined up first. And then we're going to go in with our glue gun and secure it all. Okay? But first, we got some more cutting to do. I'm not going to film that because there's a lot of cussing involved. <laughs> Okay, we got the top one cut out. So let's see. So make sure you get the sides right. I think I'm gonna have to go back in on this one. But you can see that it's starting to come together and then I'm gonna glue it together. So um, I'll cut the rest of the holes out and then I'll show you how I glue it, okay? Okay, so the cussing part is finished and here we go. So you just wanna make sure you are lining your pumpkins so that the best sides are showing and then also that it's not leaning. So once you have what you need, we're gonna deconstruct just a little bit. Um, ooh, some of the innards from the other pumpkins came out. And then we're gonna start gluing this puppy, okay? So I checked and this is the way I want mine. I'm just gonna lean it up a little bit and pop my glue in there, okay? Pop my glue, pop my glue. All right. All right. Hold it down a little bit. Make sure you've got what you need to get. Come in the back if you need to. Um, okay, so we have one done here already. It's pretty secure. And so we're gonna go and do the next one. We have it already assembled. It's just a matter of gluing this puppy on. Um, which I must tell you has been my favorite part because the rest of it has been so wild. This is really on there. So I'm just going to go in and glue because the stem from the bottom has really secured it already. Um, which is nice for this one. It wasn't the case necessarily with some of the others. And so... Again, just a matter of going on down here, getting it tight in there. Don't touch glue at home like I'm doing. <laughs> if you've ever burned yourself with a glue gun, let me tell you, there is no, there is no equivalent of pain. It is like, I don't know, it's like your soul has just left your body and um, you are being punished for everything wrong you ever did in life. Um, and if you know, you know. So see how quick that was? So we're all done. That is glued on. It is nice and secure. And it's just a matter of letting that glue dry, which is really fast. And then you're done. You're going to have to, we're going to spray outside. Um, but then we're done. We did.
So that's really it. I think that craft is really simple. Um, it's just a matter of kind of letting things dry. That's really the most time consuming. You saw my issues with cutting, but get the right equipment to begin with and you won't have that issue. I love how they turned out. Please let me know if you give this a try and be sure to subscribe again so you don't miss a thing. I'll see you next time.